Right, so today you join us down at the beautiful Oxford Estate Lake. And we've come down to try the new compact extension float rod and what better place to try it than a quintessential British Estate Lake. Fishing the edge of the pads, dotted down peacock quill float, trying to find some lovely, dark, prehistoric looking tench. So this is our second session with the extension float rod and obviously down here at the Estate Lake. Uh, we tried to come down early on in the spring and we, we stayed up overnight, ready to go, and we got the last frost of the year. It was really, really cold and the fishing in the morning was pretty brutal, but being here in that early spring, kind of everything waking up, pads just starting to come through, it was fantastic. What a beautiful day to be on the lake. And we did catch a few fish, but it was very, very tough. And, you know, we decided to kind of come back and give it a go later on in the spring, which is today. It's amazing the difference that just a couple of short months can make. Um, today, everything's out pretty much in full bloom. We're on the cusp of the summer and it is just gorgeous. Right, so the concept behind the 13 foot compact extension float rod is, it's a 13 foot rod, obviously it's in the name, um, but it's two pieces uh, that can kind of go down into two six foot sections. So you can take the butt section and push the kind of main part of the blank into the handle. You lose a foot, you've got two six foot sections, fits really nicely into obviously your 12 foot quiver. Ideal for, for taking with you on those tench sessions, for example, with your two 12 foot tench rods and then obviously a float rod alongside. It's a beautiful piece of kit. It's got a lovely kind of through action, but with loads of power in reserve. Stunner. Fantastic. All right, well, there we go. First fish of the session, lovely state lake male tench. Got them going on the spot now, so fingers crossed we can find a couple more absolutely immaculate tench. Just changed over to a straight peacock waggler. I have, within a couple of casts, got it past the rud and hooked this absolutely stunning male tench. That is so dark. Look at that. Come on. God, it doesn't get any better than that. Tension in the sunshine. Come on. Look at him, I mean, that is an absolute wood carving of a tench. Just dark, silty bottom tench. Really, really pleased with him. There we go, a seriously plump looking female, absolutely fin perfect, dark as anything. What a beautiful fish. It's fish like these that certainly I grew up cycling down to the lakes in the summer, kind of fizzing on the edge of the pads. It's proper schoolboy stuff and it is absolutely perfect. Right, so baits wise, super simple. I've been fishing uh, two pieces of sweet corn all day. Um, I've tried to fish worm. Uh, I did bring maggot, but there is just so many small silver fish. And to be honest, some quite decent roach as well. We've had some, some kind of palm sized rud and some just under a pound sized roach. Um, and they are absolutely hammering things on the way down. So two pieces of corn, weighted probably four to six inches above the hook. And then I fed kind of ground bait all day with just corn in the ground bait just to try and keep them occupied on corn um, and it's worked pretty well to be honest the ground baits kept them coming kept them fizzing and the corn has definitely done the job I'd love to a fish worm and I did have a couple of the bigger fish on a worm but over and over again with worm I was just getting absolutely battered by the rud so a couple of bits of corn has definitely seen me through
much better fish. Just gonna take it easy because I've only got five pound hook link. Whatever this is, is certainly holding its head down. As you can see, the beauty of this uh, extension float rod is it has got the power to deal with the slightly bigger fish when needed. This absolutely gorgeous five pound, 12 ounce tench has just taken the double sweet corn and given me the right run around on the float rod straight into the, the weed um, and kind of showcase the backbone that that rod does have um, to be able to A, get her out and, and then obviously deal with her under my feet as well. Um, what a brilliant little fish that is and fought way, way, way over the odds. There you go, best of the bunch on the extension float rod. What a wonderful day's fishing. Um, it's been kind of, well I say day, we're two o'clock in the afternoon now. Gonna get back home for some brownie points, but I'm really, really happy with that day's fishing. A trio of gorgeous females. And uh, the rod has performed absolutely fantastic. What a piece of kit. Let's get these girls back.